What's going on y'all and welcome back to the channel. Today we have an exciting one. At least stick around for like the first minute. I'm gonna be upset. I worked hard on a new intro for y'all. It is the new year and we went ahead and invested in ourselves in some new Final Cut plugins. Uh, hopefully for some better sound and visual effects over uh, the newer content that comes out from now on. So. We're taking y'all straight out to Charleston, South Carolina for my first ever visit. We have a little run-in with an alligator on the bank, probably the sketchiest moment I've ever had. Uh, I didn't get my leg chewed off, but could probably still happen in this lifetime. And we hook into a new species today, y'all, so grab the popcorn, enjoy this little intro clip we put together, and let me know what you think about it in the comments afterwards. Thank ya, and enjoy the fishing. Are you taking pictures? We are just having a good time fishing. This is not good. This is not good. Oh, okay. no. Why are you doing that on this property? This is not a public park. That's a deal. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Net, net, net. Thank you again. We will have you arrested. Wait, it wasn't the weekend. What's up y'all, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog, welcome to South Carolina for the first time. Welcome fishing with Becca to the channel today. Okay, I know you guys missed me, what's up? Actually, all the videos that we filmed together when you were in Texas, like half of them still aren't up, so they haven't even missed you yet because you haven't been gone. So yeah, anyways, needless to say, we are in a new state y'all, we're actually here filming on Chartered with Lojo herself. And, uh, and me, we're gonna be going ahead and starting filming on that actually tomorrow. So you guys kind of get a sneak peek. I might do a little bit of behind the scenes or I might not be allowed shh, to do anything at all as far as that goes. And if that's the case, today's episode is just gonna be fishing. Becca and I got here a little early, so we're gonna try and hit some ponds before we get to tonight's festivities and preparation for the next installment of Uncharted that's gonna be hitting you guys very soon. If it hasn't already released over on the Catch Company channel, be sure to check it out. They are actually the ones who are sponsoring today's video. A lot of the baits we're gonna be throwing are Catch Company collaborations, and we're gonna have a fun time doing it, y'all. So let me go ahead, grab some gear. Wait, speaking of, check this thing out. This is the Airbnb. This is crazy. Eli, uh, Eli yeah. found Eli found a deal on some four bedroom Airbnb out here, and let me tell you what, it's money. So like, here's the living space. The place is crazy. This is like legitimate. They said you can't use the surfboard. I guess maybe people have tried in the past, but yeah, they say the surfboard is for display only. <laughs> There's kind of a creek behind the place, but it's a little dried up. So we actually just hopped on the Fish Brain app in order to find these places that we're gonna hit here in just a moment. They got drums, they got the guitar. I don't know if you're supposed to touch all this or not. It says, please keep inside is all I see. So honestly, there's a pick right there. So they have to allow you to play this stuff. Here's a little brunch spot, dinner spot, you know, whatever you want, coffee. And they got a brand new bag too, Second State Coffee. We're about to see about this. Why is it Second State? Why would it? Probably roasted in Charleston, South Carolina. We are definitely giving that coffee a shot over our stay. Now, I brought a couple rigs, right? I brought a couple Stratix. We got the 2500 and the 3500 braid, and I'm gonna be tying a leader line just to uh, kind of catering to what type of fish we're gonna be fishing for at that time of day because we're gonna be going for some freshwater fish, saltwater fish, things of that nature. I did bring an SLX DC, which I think you can use in the saltwater. Should be fine. I think any of those, most of those Shimano's, I should say with the DC braking system, I think are okay for the, the water. I think most of the DC braking system Shimano's are actually okay for salt water, which is fantastic because we're probably gonna abuse this thing. Definitely rinse in the sink afterwards because it like doesn't have the tension knob anymore. So that thing fell off. This is the cheapest Shimano DC. It's the cheapest feeling Shimano I have. I hate to say that, it's a $200 DC. They wanted to get that system out there at an entry level price and it kind of has that entry level feel to it. But that's besides the point. Here's what we're gonna be taking to the ponds with us today, y'all. You haven't seen it rigged up like this ever because it's on one of Becca's rods. It's that, uh, I think it's a St. Croix. Yeah, she's got a Bass X. This thing's like a 7.4 heavy power fast action, which is good because I got a heavy reel on here. This is the Tranks 400 that we're going to be using for a lot of the uncharted filming. It's got 20 pound fluorocarbon on it and a lot of it, as well as the brand new Gomexis handles. I believe these are the 120 millimeters and I could be completely wrong, uh, but they're that pink color right here. Perfect for reeling in the big redfish, I hear. So, we're gonna go ahead, grab our gear. Uber's like minutes away, I think. The Uber's here right now? Uh, the Uber is, oh, the Uber is on top of us. Right? Uber is here, y'all, we gotta go. Well, thank you, Lyft XL. I was able to fit the 7.4 Heavy Extra Fast in there. I reckon it's time to plug in my charge, give us all day battery life, and start trying to catch some fish, y'all. Becca's got the tackle, so really I'm just fishing whatever she brought. By the way, don't take any tips of mine seriously today because I'm literally fishing with gear that you would not normally pond fish with. <laughs> but maybe we can 
put it all together regardless here. You throw on a T-Rig or you go on moving bait? I think maybe we should like do one and one and one. Yeah, I'm gonna do T-Rig. Well, the Uber just dropped us off, y'all. It was looking like uh, they were gonna drop us off in that person's backyard. So he's like, well, I'll just let you off here. Becca just kind of put in a location with a bunch of ponds right around it. She brought the tackle box. I'm just gonna see what's in here. Rig any and everything up <laughs> and give it a dangle. Look at this, y'all. The 10,000 fish headhunter. I might throw that. The good thing about this bait, you guys, is the fact that the hook is kind of texposed in the top right there. So what that means is that it's a little bit weedless. So I can fish it closer to the bottom. I can swim it slowly on the bottom. I can also swim it quickly, just like any old swim bait you might be working. It's got a nice kick there, whether that's on the fall and popping along the bottom or just on the swim a little higher in the water column. So, definitely excited to get this thing rigged up and see if this won't reel in the first fish of the day as Becca goes with the Texas rig. Do you have any cutters or do you just use your teeth? Mofo. I gotta cut my line. Got it. Got one? No way. Becca says she's on already. <laughs> Was that on the bottom or swimming it? Uh, on the bottom. Will you take a picture sick. of my uh, yep, yep, yep. North Carolina fish? Here, get like in front of the water because this looks pretty sick. Let's go. Skinny little devil. All right. First blood. That took like literally five minutes. Wow. I might move here. Wow. Dude, I like South Carolina. Wow. Look at all these bluegill. Oh, there's a bass. That's a bass. He's looking at it. Doesn't like it. It's very defensive. It's not going to bite because it's hungry. Oh. Its nose was on this thing like once or twice. I was so. He just, he yeah. literally just touched it with yep. his nose. Dang. Got him. No. No! That fish ain't gonna bite this again. Would have to be a Christmas miracle. Go. Wow, what a piece of shit. Got him. Third time's the charm. Oh my goodness. Where is Becca? That only took forever. <laughs> Let's get it back on that bed. That is how you do it, man. Patience. Becca was working it for a while, but I knew it was anxious to go after that bluegill bait. So this is that Ketchco Brands 10,000 fish. Headhunter, you guys, in the smaller size. They also offer a larger size, which I actually think might have gotten that thing to bit even a little bit sooner. Just a bigger target to go after on the bed. And you can see that Texpo's hook kept it kind of sly. That fish came back multiple times, even after getting hooked, which is very tough to do. We got lucky with that one right there. It was finicky, yet it was locked. That's a tough challenge, but we made it happen. Y'all can grab these at Carl's Bait and Tackle, you guys, sponsored by Ketchco. Thank you so much for supporting us on this video while Becca is over here looking for alligators. Tell me it's bigger than two. Oh my God. Are you sure that wasn't an alligator? <laughs> okay. Woo, first one swimming it. There we go, up in the shallows, y'all. That bluegill is gone. Goodness gracious. Thank you, sir. Headhunter doing work. Okay, so that was one on the bottom on the bed and one swimming it right along the bank. I can dig it. Let's keep covering some water, y'all. Second fish for me in South Carolina ever. <laughs> oh. Yes, it has the fin that goes like this on top. What? That's, that's what this is? He's just nosed up to the curb. I'm gonna catch him. Watch this. He's about to, he's about to flip. You have to try like mad, try because I'm souped as hell. I've always wanted to see one in person. Oh, he's mad. He's mad. Oh. Go, oh, I had him. Go. Oh, I had him. That would have been the first ever bowfin. Can you even like lip them? They have sharp teeth, I think. I'm going to find another one. He's in the, sh they like the shade, don't they? Oh, here he is. Oh, wow. So right? That's cool. So Becca was just saying she saw a bowfin in here and I'm like completely, not unfamiliar, like I've seen them in friends' Instagrams and on different YouTube videos, but like I've never seen one in person, I don't believe. And that guy was just nudged up right against the bank. I'm not sure if the GoPro is angled down enough for y'all to see it. And I feel like there's gonna be more doing that exact same thing. And if so, he literally just ate the little bluegill headhunter and ran with it. So not only can you catch bass with the headhunter, but you might have a chance at a bowfin if you're out and some unique locations that actually have those types of fish. How crazy would that have been? We might actually get on one, guys. Stick around for this. Oh my gosh. What? That might have been like a 10 pound bowfin if they come in that size. Oh, yeah, okay. That was the biggest wake. Yeah. Oh, so cool, man. I thought I had him. 
He was swimming away with the line in his mouth. Oh, got something. There we go. That's a better bass. Okay, I mean, he looked okay. This guy got hooked really good. This headhunter is not that bad, let me tell you what. But how am I gonna get this out of here? Hmm, it's not good. It's not good at all. Hey, you don't have uh, anything that resembles pliers, do you? Okay, we saved him. An alligator, an actual alligator. South Carolina gators, boys, wow. He's like, they call me the headhunter. He looks real short in the water, but he like his head makes him look like he's gonna be like an eight footer. But I think he's like five and a half, six. So I wonder if we're not supposed to stand this close to the edge then. I kind of thought the signs were like just there, you know, like spook you, but not be for real. Nope, they're for real. Oh, here's a little one. It's a little one, like four feet. He's cool. No. Pretty sure that was what you think it is. Is that an alligator? I, I'm, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> what else is that? that was nothing else it like kicked off the bank when i was over there i was like i was thinking because it gets real narrow and it's like super shallow i'm like they could just hop out at any point if they if they wanted to i knew i saw an alligator but it like was it that was a big one well in, in gator terms it wasn't but well, that was a was. big that was a big thing oh well too they probably go right yeah, there's like a little creek arm back there too. Gators are definitely cruising into the little swamp back there. Look at that, it's like, this is where they go through. Yeah, like literally I was I was like kind of stressing when I was walking the bank over there. I'm like, dude, these things are eyeballing us. Cause I see the little ones still now, but I don't see the big ones. So you know, like if they're creeping up by the bank, they're not gonna be as exposed. Well, we left the gator pond and we're back on the move looking for bowfin, which I think that's what that was. I just can't see it all because I don't have the polarized glasses and now the sun's even a little bit lower. So it's gonna be tough to spot them. Oh, oh, I got something decent. <laughs> I got a bass on the bluegill on the drop. I wasn't paying attention at all. Oh my gosh. Oh, nice. Quick release, baby. <laughs> hey, y'all. Good morning, evening, or afternoon, wherever we left you off. Check us out. We are on the tail end of the uncharted trip. You saw some fishing in this exact same neighborhood with Becca and I earlier in today's video, but I'm actually out with Jared looking for lunkers. On Instagram, you guys are going to have to check him out. Link down below. But he's hooked us up. I only brought reels, right? And I was using some of Becca's gear. We we're using Lojo's gear for the trip. But now it's just me until the flight later today. So Jared has offered up one of his rods to pair with the old SLX and Go Mexis combo. But check this out, something a little bit different. Woo! It's one of his jigs, all right? He's making these things. And I got a little biospawn vile bug for the tail end of it. Hopefully we can catch a fish with him on one of the jigs he's making before the trip ends. And if you want to check him out, of course, on his Instagram page, you got them all posted on your Instagram, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, he's got them all posted on the Instagram deal. So you guys are gonna have to take a peek. This is gonna be our last chance to catch some fish. I'm just cruising around with him. He's gonna drop me off at the airport and we're back in Dallas, Texas after this. So let's uh, go ahead and try and get on some fish. Maybe catch our first ever bowfin, show him some of the gators in these ponds and have a great day. So that's looking pretty juicy actually. Okay. Get on the bank, we might. Yeah. <laughs> he said. So he, um, he said the two he got for you are. One of the, the yeah, first cast. First cast on Jared's jig, yo. <laughs> we literally just walked up to the pond. That I was, dude, I was not expecting that at all. I was not expecting that at all. It took me and Becca and when we were fishing with Lojo, a handful of casts to catch stuff. Dude, they love the skirts though. Lojo was throwing a jig and he was getting them. And look at this. Dude, how sick is that? Connecting with the hook on that thing first cast. We literally just walked up. We saw one get spooked and I'm like, maybe they're on the bank. I cast it out. That was not even, the jig did not even hit five feet from the bank. And little homie just swooped it up. Oh, hey, hold on, we gotta get a picture. That's funny. All right, y'all, that was a little release with the Instagram story. Don't forget to go follow us on Instagram, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and try and get some more because that just blew my mind right there. First cast, wow. Yeah. Becca's gonna say, what the f <laughs> Dan, that green is popping on the head. That's dope. Shimmer. So I don't know if I talked about the setup too much here, but this is a, I believe this is a seven foot three, medium heavy right here. 
rated for three eighths to one ounce. So that's actually perfect because I believe this is a three eighths or or even a half. It's a it's got some decent weight to it. This is the type of rod you're gonna want to throw with it. Something in like you know the seven two to seven six range, medium heavy fast action, really feel out the bites. And then I've got these little Gomexis handles you guys have been asking about. I got some rainbow braid on here that Devin bought me off Amazon. I know you guys are curious. I just got like a 15 pound fluorocarbon leader tied onto this. It's actually a hundred pound braid. I literally just bought it to like make some Instagram reels. It's a hundred pound braid on here. So leader is a necessity. And then uh, the vile bugs were the trailer right there. These are the bio spawn vile bugs and it's kind of like a green pumpkin but with some extra green flash in there a lot of flake let's get back to fishing how did i catch that first fish got him <laughs> just right out there off the bank man interesting oh there he goes quick release Initial drop right off the bank. Very weird. We're targeting all these trees that look so good, you guys. And we're just catching them in open water. That's not, it's not necessarily typical. Guess, the bass like to, to overthink it. I know, they like to bunch up to cover most times. And apparently today they're just like, nah, I just want to swim out here in the open. Yeah, it's like the perfect jig bottom though, right? Yeah. Oh, there's a bass. Oh, he saw me. Dang it. You got nice dude little guy but yeah there's i'll tell you what they are skinny out here jer with the first one for him this morning y'all this thing's gonna be a money maker in the texas ponds that's for sure dude i'd throw i'd throw this all day this is dope i'm just throwing the swim bait for the first time guys jared brought me uh two of these that came from another gentleman who makes these locally dude this thing is so sick see that looks that looks good i think i yeah he said with with the ones he made you, you kind of have to like balance wise mm-hmm Oh, there we go. Messed that up. Got him. I'm like, it's swimming out there. That's good. You gonna make it, buddy? There we go. First one off the rocks with the jig at pond number two, man. That was pretty quick. I'm like, my jig is swimming that way, but I'm popping it this way. That's when you know to set the hook right there. <laughs> All right, y'all, we just drove down to another grouping of ponds in this community here in Charleston. Leave that right there so I don't forget it. Jared's first drop shot fish. Woohoo! Is that the biggest one of the day? <laughs> That's the biggest one! This is the first time rigging Jared up a drop shot, like, ever? Yeah. Okay. Well, I've rigged them up before, but it would be like one of those things, throw it out, I didn't catch anything and switch back to what I'm used to. Yep. Nice little confidence deal because we've been fishing in probably six minutes or something and we've had a handful of bites. They kind of slowed down on the jig. I think it's just that time of day where you got to finesse down and yep. still get some bites. So, dude, sick. A little bit of a wedge right there. <laughs> Mission success. Clear water drop shots when they won't hit nothing else, man. That's kind of the way to go. So we did uh, the exact same thing with me. I think this is a, a quarter ounce weight. Yeah. And we're literally using salt water hooks so this is where we're throwing a curveball these are a little bit bigger and beefier than you'd want to throw to finesse things down but they're a one knot circle hook so it's kind of like got an offset to it here but i'm still missing some bites so i'm definitely thankful you linked up because yeah. that was my third bite on this thing and those you know five to ten minutes we've been throwing them do you really want to tie like a, a wacky or drop shot specific hook guys uh so you y'all you know, can find those at like carl's bait and tackle and stuff where we normally shop if you want to uh, grab some for yourself same with these weights i think these are on that site i think these are the there might be some Carl's weights right here as well, but regardless, they're on that site. So grab you some goodies and catch the fish when they're starting to act finicky, man. Here's UA weight, sir. Oh, I, I found it. How did you find it? Deal. Do, 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 do. And when you're rigging these up, you really just want to get a little bit of the nose of that worm on there. You don't have to like rig it halfway. Another one. That's two casts in a row almost. Oh, circle hook. <laughs> oh, there's a bluegill. He'll hit, he'll hit this too. A little less clarity in this one. He got it. He got it. He got it. There we go, y'all. Check that out. This thing is literally like a black and white bass. It has zero color. So weird. Desaturated. He was kind of hanging out just right on the edge of the grass here. Let him go. Another one for the drop shot today. Absolutely crushing it. 
I think we're about to go grab some breakfast and then hit the old aeropuerta and head back to DF Dub. And just like that, we're back in Dallas, y'all, and we would love to thank Catch Co for sponsoring today's episode and that entire Uncharted trip. We had an absolute blast. Can't wait to go on the next one, which I think might be coming up here. I'm not going to give away any location information or timing, but uh, we do have something in the works. So if you're not subscribed to the Catch Co channel, go give it a peep. Hit that little button right there and be ready for the next few series that we've got with them. It's going to be a lot of fun. Until then, y'all. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace.